This okay. is the largest group ever. <laughs> yes. Hi. So exciting. Yeah. So let's get started then. Um, so hello, you very large group of sumo people. Welcome to our meeting today. We have a few people missing, but a lot of other people who did not join before joining. So I guess we're an even number. Um, hello to our Brazilian friends. We have special guests today, um, Rosanna and Ralph are in Brazil, and they have Mauricio there as well. So, uh, very nice to see you. Welcome. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, previous action items. First things first, uh, keep testing the mobile redesign and report on the etherpad. Any comments about that? Everybody tested? Yes, no? <laughs> Most of us tested. Okay, I think, well, Kadir is not here today. He would probably have more uh, comments on this. Uh, but if there are still people who have not done this and would like to do it, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so please do it and report there because it's super important for us to, to know what's going on, especially in Firefox OS and Android devices, the lucky ones who have the Firefox OS devices. Um, especially, I don't, so. Cool. We can right. fix that. <laughs> if you need a Firefox OS device, please ping me here and <laughs> argue with me. Okay. Uh, next thing, document day. We had that last week. How did that go, Michelle? I guess you have more. Oh, it went great. It went really well. We had um, a lot of people from the community participating. Andrew participated. Um, we had a new member, or we had two new articles for Persona last week. Uh, some great updates to Firefox OS articles because we have um, code, stable code now, so we can do graphics. So that's great. actually pretty fun. We have a ton of articles that are all text, and so if you can do graphics, um, add look pretty graphics to them. Um, that That's awesome. So we had some people doing that. We had um, SatDev and Fear56 are dipping their toe in the water of reviews, which is awesome. Um, and they've been contributing to the knowledge base for quite some time. So, so the help article day was a lot of fun. We reviewed and approved a lot of changes. There's still a lot of stuff in the review queue and a long list of um, changes uh, that are in the needs changes list. So so keep it going. That's great. Awesome. Yes, Michael. I would say also the um, technical writing group this last week has worked on um, identifying what uh, needs uh, to be uh, changed uh, for 19 uh, and narrowing it down to what will actually be visible. And this week we'll move on to making those changes. So it didn't yeah. result in any, any changes this last week, but soon. So. Actually, Adam Peebles writes. I should mention him too. He's all over the KB doing great stuff. Cool. He's one of the students. So. Yeah, he's a technical writing dude, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, and we had some other people. So welcome if you watch this recording. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just added that to the agenda that maybe we can talk a little, little bit later about that, the technical writing thing. That would be great. Uh, Michelle, yeah. one thing. Um, I know Andrew's on the call. Uh, uh, but maybe if you can pass the name of the people that contributed a lot, or you can put them in the, on the etherpad, the main people from the uh, document day, he can post them on uh, on the Tumblr. That's oh, that's really cool. Oh, yes. Tumblr. Yeah. 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 What if they're not a kid? What if they're an oldster like me? <laughs> we still call you a kid, buddy. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> likely. Yeah. It's all in your heart. <laughs> All right, excellent. Okay, let's move on. So we have Sumo development update and UX. Kadir is not here today. Is Ricky online? I don't think so. No. So anybody who can do this or we should just move on? Take one, take two, take three. Okay, so then we'll just move on and um, I'll ask Kadir or Ricky to fill in updates if they have any. 
Okay, next topic, round table. Ricardo is connected. Sorry? Ricky is connected. Oh, Ricky. Hi. What's going oh. on? <laughs> we were hoping you would join us. We have, uh, we need you. Updates on development, anything? Uh, <clears throat> so, we're working on localization of, of the support forum. We're continuing that. <clears throat> and um, the other big thing we're working on is we're adding a bunch of stuff uh, with uh, Google Analytics tracking so that we can better understand how users and contributors and everybody use, uses the site. So I'm working a lot with eBay on getting all that nailed down. And, and oh, that sounds really cool. And uh, yeah, and a lot of other small things, but that's the major thing. Hey, Ricky, what sprint are we on right now? Is this the second or the third sprint? Dot two, yeah. And the third one starts next week or this week? Um, the next one starts next Tuesday. Okay. So in two weeks, actually. All right. Sweet. Okay. Um, if there are any, are there any questions for Ricky? No? Okay, cool. Uh, let's move on to roundtable then. Uh, the we have a few questions here from our community. The first one is update on the Facebook support community on moving forward. So, Michael, I'll pass this to you. Okay. So, um, so Madeline and I tried. Uh, we did a little bit of experimenting. There's still some work to do. But um, we did find that... Um, if you are there on a question, the moment uh, they post, do the posting, um, and you and you quickly follow up with people, you have to keep hitting refresh. It's it's definitely not an optimal uh, interface, but you keep hitting refresh to see more comments, and then you type people's names, even though they don't get like an an at notification. Um, people will, uh, some of them will see that. Um, and they will respond to you, ask follow-ups, other people have jumped in to help. It is possible to spend a good 20 or 30 minutes after a post on Facebook um, and just answer, like with your own account. Um, it's easier to do it as an admin because you can, you can tag people, but that's problematic. Uh, it requires getting people admin access. It requires managing uh, who is doing it because it doesn't work to have two, three, four people doing it at once, um, that kind of stuff. Um, so there's no good, easy answer, right? and we're still experimenting, I guess, is, the, is kind of the answer here. Yeah, I think. It's the answer is like we we will keep trying things and finding what is the best solution to doing it. Um, I have received some feedback from you, Andrew. Thank you so much for that. We are looking into this into it as well. Um, so anybody who has an opinion about how we should do Facebook, please come forward. Let us know. It would be very helpful because Facebook is actually a very tricky platform to work with and for any kind of solution that we have or suggestion that we have there will always be like something is working something not so great not everybody's happy so right now we will keep doing this trying to um, organize you know a few days where we were actually a few hours when we will uh, answer on facebook if anybody wants to join please do it's a lot of fun actually the only thing is that you need to be there and keep refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and <laughs> trying and see whatever new question or problem appears. Um, but once you do that, this is not such so much of a, a problem. So it, it's a bit uh, annoying at the beginning, but then it's fun. And then you actually have some people answering. I mean, Michael had conversations really on Facebook last time when we did it, uh, which was very cool. Cool. All right. Uh, next thing, can I suggest we do a dedicated day of testing the mobile design? Uh, 
Right. I don't know, Michelle, do you have an opinion on this? Probably a great idea. <laughs> I mean, I think we've had fairly good coverage, and we talk about it every Wednesday in the mobile meeting. Um, but things have, um, I mean, so we have a list of what uh, has been tested. So it's probably not a bad idea at least to do an ad hoc day for it. Do we not have QA with a test plan? Well, that's the, the mobile implementation uh, wiki page is what QA has been checking off, I think, for their testing. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So maybe we should. So I guess my answer is yay. And I probably can't drive it myself, but I would love to participate in such a thing. Okay. So maybe it's said that we will we'll like to organize that. Uh, cool. All right, next one. Sumo IRC meetings will be starting back very soon, Sadav again. That's great news. Uh, Sadav, please let us know when uh, you want that to happen and we can actually organize it together um, if you need any help with that. Uh, possible suggestion for the KB page, all staff do a quick intro about their self with their name, role, and a little bit of what they do for Sumo. Uh, yes, that's actually a great idea. This is something I personally wanted to recommend, but I don't know why I didn't find the time yet. Don't um, we? Because we have we have a page about page, but it's a bit outdated. Not everybody's there, um, and there are a few people who have like a huge description, and some people who don't have any kind of description. So it's a bit messy, um, and I think it would be cool if we kind of look into that and try to redo it and also I would love to see some members of our community involved there because it's not only us um, I mean the sumo staff who's, uh, who should be on the page um, so yeah let, let's look into that uh, Sadaf thank you so much for the, the idea it's great um, I can actually post a link uh, on the of the page to see exactly what we're talking about and we can look into it. This, the meet the team one. Yeah, I think that that that's the one. Yeah, I, I don't think there is any other about the team or sumo stuff at all. That's the only one, and it's only a few people, and it's a bit messy. Cool. All right. Um, Andrew has another question. Any updates on this bug? The bug is about, let me see what the bug is about. Add image feature for contributor forums. Uh, right. Uh, I think that's that's planned. Ricky, can you correct me? I think that you planned that for a, a later sprint. If I'm, I think it was moved, right? Uh, which one are we talking about? The add, add, add images on the, on the forum. Oh yeah, it's in, it's somewhere in the backlog. Yeah. I think it's. It says three, and it has a priority three. Anyway, so basically, do we know when this will happen or not yet? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Oh, Kadir is not here anyway, so. I guess you also should have some some updates, uh, but let's yeah let's reach out to him as well and see what's the plan for this bug. I see there are a few comments on it, but yeah, nothing has happened yet. All right. And the last thing in the round table today is that there is a meeting at 3 p.m. PST about uh, brown, brown bag for Firefox and B2G. So if you, anybody wants to join, you have the either pad there, uh, please have a look. All right, any other topics from the round table? Any questions here? Excuse me, Madalena, who is driving the brown bag? Um, I actually don't know. Let me see. I think it's uh, Satav is meeting with Jess. I'm going to join them. And they're talking about a brown bag for mobile stuff, I think. Mm -hmm. 
Great, thank you. Maybe we should, uh, or Sada, if we could add in the Etherpad who's participating, so, like, people know. Um, okay, cool. Let's move on uh, to Firefox Desktop. Tyler, your turn. All right, so not much. Um, Norton hopefully will be releasing an update for the toolbars in 2012 and 2013 products that have been causing Firefox to crash. Um, should be by the 31st at the latest. Um, if there's still crashing going on after that, they want to know about it because there's a possible third crash that they don't know about. Uh, so we're going to be monitoring that. Um, click to play. We're going to start blocking old versions of Flash in the next couple of days. We're going to start with uh, versions older than 10.2 and slowly roll it out until we get everything click to play blocked except for the latest 10.3 11.2 uh, on Linux and 11.5. Um, basically, click-to-play blocking is like we're doing for Java and Reader right now. If you go to a website and you have an old uh, version of that plugin, you'll get the click-to-play dialog that says, please update this plugin or click here to activate it. Um, and that's pretty much it from desktop. Any questions? Yeah, I have one. Have you, is there something uh, with sync today? I've gotten the like, Sync doesn't work like five times this morning. Have you seen anything, or is it just me? Not that I know. Okay. Um, I saw more, more last time. week. Well, on Android. Sorry, or desktop? I, I on desktop. Yeah. There is no. I I I'm subscribed to the. Uh, to the services and operations hasn't reported anything. So I think yeah. that the last week and this week has been just randomness that maybe more people is trying to use it uh, or it just happened that they have more, more difficulties than usual. Yeah, right now sync is operating normally is what um, status is saying. So, uh, and I haven't, I haven't seen any input or feedback around it so uh, if I can stop real quick uh, I did hear I was talking to uh, some of the developers some of the community members around here the other day and uh, a couple of them did mention that they have some some uh, some issues with sync they they tried inputting it and tried it like half a dozen times and it didn't work so they so get so I gave up on desktop eh? On mobile, I both. On yeah, on desktop and mobile. Yes. Hmm. I know there's some activity there. Well, I'll, um, I'll keep an eye on that. And um, Ralph, if you have any more like specifics, if you want to email them to me. It, um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk but, more about it. He was. Uh, um, yeah, he. So, yeah, I'll talk to him more about it today. Okay. Try yeah, it could just be an edge case or something like that, but... There are a lot of edge cases with sync. Yeah. <laughs> Too many, that's the problem. Because, yeah. yeah, you to confirm what I was answering last week, they were the usual, I forgot my sync key, how do I record my data and all that stuff, that there are known use cases that don't work. Just, they were. They happened to be more popular than usual. It wasn't nothing like, I don't know. I lost all my data uh, spontaneously, um, or I'm having difficulties to set up sync with the steps that you're providing me. <laughs> so, Ralph, make sure that whoever is trying to set up sync just follows the steps because they are they are tricky. All right, any questions for Tyler and Firefox desktop? Take one, take two, take three. Okay, not. Let's move on to Firefox one and three. Oh, yes, questions day. And we are working on with the technical writing program to get the mobile stuff done for 19. And we have some awesome volunteers, courtesy of Rosanna and the technical writing program. So um, I'm syncing up with Rosanna and Michael today to make sure that we get mobile taken care of. And Everyone's happy with 
regards to identical writing program. Sweet. Excellent. Uh, do you, did you use any, uh, any of the volunteers, contributors that I sent you or not yet? I mean, did you talk to them? I've talked to most of them, but we keep getting new ones. We have seven All in the right. program. Okay. So it's uh, between Michael and I, we'll, 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 um, because Rosanna's in Brazil, we'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Firefox OS. Yes. Uh, Roland, that's an awesome problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it is a great uh, that's very exciting. Uh, yeah, so let's see. App days just happened over the weekend. Uh, those for the marketplace and Firefox OS app days. So thanks everyone who went to those and participated and worked on learning how to create apps for the Firefox marketplace and for Firefox OS. It sounds like it was amazing all around the world on Saturday. Um, I've been reading the reports and. Um, I think you can go look on Twitter and see all the exciting pictures. And so that's a huge push that we're doing all the way through um, the rest of the month and uh, ramping up to the Mobile World Congress at the end of February. So that's also a good reason to work on help article content because we'll be doing a lot of demos of the phone and um, that's how you can access the help. So, um, and also there's a huge amount of press last week about the Geeks Phone uh, partnership that we have and that there'll be two devices available for developers in February that are pre-installed with Firefox OS, which is super exciting. Another reason help articles are important. Uh, developers will need them too uh, in one month. So, uh, so that's, that's what, we're, what we're doing. You can see all the press on that and all the excitement um, around the world with people looking forward to getting these devices and wanting them in their in their country that's and no thing. i don't know when they're coming or how much they will be <laughs> 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 but it's uh but they look really cool so you know as much as i do as far as that goes any questions on firefox os or other things that are happening that I haven't mentioned here because it's 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. on Monday morning. <laughs> yeah, so any questions for Michelle or Roland for Firefox Mobile, anything related to mobile? Now it's the time. Okay. Oh, I should slip in the Thunderbird update that we're still working on the migration. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. It's, uh, unfortunately, it's a lower priority uh, for people. It will happen. It's not rocket science. Okay. So now we have the update on Thunderbird as well. Cool. All right. Um, should we move on to metrics? Uh, Kadir is not here. We have a question. Um, the dashboard shows a significant one-time increase in helpfulness votes on the Sport Forum on Saturday, January 19th. Are the causes for this known? Um, so we will need to look into this with Kadir, but I think that this might be the problem with the spammers that we had. Uh, we had a few people who overnight in three minutes managed to get like 1,000 helpful votes um, for their answers, which is not okay. So we're looking into that. This seems to be a problem with spam. But I'm not 100% sure this is the case for Saturday, January 19th. So we'll have to look into that. I'll put this as an action item for Kadir and myself. I don't even see a spike on that day. It looks like it's pretty comparable to all, all the days around it. Is it? Uh, January 19th. Helpfulness. Looks like it went from like 38% to 42%, but the day after was the same. It just looks like noise. Mm. But there was a spike. I had seen it. Um, but obviously, once they deleted the answer, the spike is gone. 
Oh, like there was one. It's changed sometime after. Yeah, because the, the answer was deleted. Oh, so that takes care. That's, that takes away all the votes with it. So you know what? Yeah, that, so th you know what that is, Ricky? Uh, do I know what what is? What What was it that got deleted that had all the votes? Um, it was like one answer that had like a thousand votes. Yeah, it was probably one of the spammers that we're dealing with now. Nah. Okay, so then this is the answer. Because there were two two users uh, who had this thing, um, and like all their posts were deleted. So I assume this is what happened. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's move on to in case if I mean, are there any more questions on this metrics? Anything? No. Okay. Uh, then we can move on to community updates. So Rosanna, do you want to take care of this? Um, I can do that. Um, I think uh, Andrew updated the etherpad and he put a reminder about Sumo Kids. This is our Tumblr where we have a little bit of fun. And if you go there, there's a, it's very nice. It's, uh, uh, he has lots of nice memes and, and things. And uh, he always posts the, you know, the top contributors. So it's really nice to go there and see that. So just a friendly reminder. And if you have any content that you would like to there, uh, just send it to Andrew or to me and we can post it there. That's it. And are you on the call? Maybe you can say that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, thanks, Andrew, for taking care of that. That's really nice. Um, I see that there's there's an update here from Vito. Vito, are you are you on the call? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm here. <clears throat> hi, hi, everybody. Do I have my minute or two? I guess. Hi. Um, hi, Roseanne. Hi my customers, future customers. Uh, it's a small job uh, that uh, I could do or have agreed to do, namely to analyze the, the traffic for the uh, contributors according to the language, uh, types of communication, etc. In other words, uh, to get my teeth on, uh, on the transaction log or whatever is out there on the systems and uh, squeeze out some juice for Roseanne and Madalina and whoever needs to distribute the badges and all kinds of uh, nice t-shirts, etc. Fact oh. is, uh, I, 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 <laughs> I do have two hands, but evidently two thumbs, you know, I, I cannot get across VPN and SSL is still somewhere in the future. And the fact is, um, uh, I would like to have Chen again uh, do do these chores for us. Uh, I would be ready to do that, but I need help, and I don't think I it would be sensible to ask for help from Mountain View or whatever from the Pacific Coast. You know, uh, I was up three o'clock in the morning European time here, you know, so we could do it eleven o'clock in the evening. Uh, but I'd rather see Kadir jump in because we're in Bundes Republic Deutschland and. Uh, he knows how to do that. And, uh, yeah, so Vito, I don't know if you saw, I sent a, an email to Kadir um, on Friday to see if he could allocate some time to help you get the VPN set I up. would appreciate it. Yeah, he's I, actually I, out today, so uh, that may be why we haven't gotten a response. He's been a little under the weather, but um, I'll be sure to follow up with him and make sure he can uh, set aside some time for you. I, I just want to pass on the, the motivation. I'm all to it, you know, but... If you're on the roadblock, uh, you raise your hand and say, guys, boys, help me out. Okay. And that's Absolutely. about it from my side. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you for the help. And hopefully, we'll see you soon. Um, I have more requests. If uh, people who are not speaking, if they can mute themselves, because there's a lot of noise. Um, yeah, thanks. Cool. Um, and the next thing is the body program. So, yeah, body program, that's going great. Uh, we'll have a next, next meeting soon. Again, Rosanna, if you want to talk about it. Yeah, no, I just, just wanted to mention everyone that, you know, the, the body program is really going very well. The bodies are, you know, the ones that are going to be bodies. Uh, you know, Andrew, 
uh, yes, uh, uh, Yusef, I mean, Yalan and Jay, and we have a lot of people who are contributing a lot. It's really going very well. We're very happy about how it's going. We'll announce the next meeting soon. So really everyone, great energy there. We're very happy to see how that's progressing. We already have a forum. Uh, we have uh, the milestones, how we're going to track how people are going to be successful. And, you know, all the feedback comes from the Hello. Met on the contributor forum. And what we're doing now is we're doing the meetings on IRC and I'm copying the logs and putting them on an etherpad. So you don't, if you want to see how the conversation went and why we decided what we decided, you can follow the conversation uh, on the logs. Um, so I just wanted to say that, you know, thanks a lot for the, for the contributors that are very engaged, uh, you know, like um, it's, it's going very well and yeah, we'll see progress soon. It's very cool. So if you want to join the meetings, please uh, do so. It's very, very interesting always. Yeah, and if you want to be a buddy, please let us know uh, because it's uh, very exciting uh, to be a buddy and, you know, help others who want to join Sumo. It can be very difficult for new persons to get involved because everything is so, there's so much information and there are so many things to do and they don't know where to start. So we would really, really use your help um, if you could, you know, volunteer to be buddies and help out our newbies. And then you'll have your own little person to take care of. That's actually a lot of fun. Great. Uh, thanks, uh, Rosanna, for the updates. And we should move to Elton M. I guess it's still you. Again, me. But now I have our special guest from Brazil. <laughs> so we're meeting here. Um, we're meeting here with Mauricio. Uh, um, yeah. Maybe do you want to tell us, you know, how you got involved and what you've been doing for Zoom so far? Well, uh, I don't have much to say, but I have been a little slow on some move these days. I work in more with the translation of this newsletter and social media posts for Mozilla. But I also like Sumo and I did some works translating articles and helping with the arm of Awesome. So now I was talking to Rosanna and I we kind of uh, planned to do a uh, Moscow fee in Brazil, so we're trying to reach more people to contribute, and I think it's very, very possible. We just need to do the work because actually we don't have much people engaged with this, so we're, we will we'll try to make people engage other people. That's the focus for now, I think. Yeah, that, that's really cool. And uh, yeah, Mauricio and his brother Marcelo, the Araldi brothers. <laughs> the mafia. <laughs> the mafia. <laughs> they, they're both in the same city. So yeah. Beer and VR. We usually work on the same things for having to create things with us. So we kind of have a team of four people that loves to translate. So we have power to do events in our city that could bring more translators to the group. Yeah, so that's really cool. That's that's our idea, and uh, we have an idea now—a tentative event in February. Yeah, in February. So if all uh, if all goes well, we might have a first like sumo translation sprint uh, yeah. in February. So we're crossing our fingers, and yeah. We expect to have at least ten people taking part. So I think it's a good number for a first event. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah, it's cool it's to wonderful. see the Brazilian community moving. Yeah, <laughs> all driven by the Araldi brothers <laughs> and Rosanna. <laughs> That's great. Great, <laughs> much, uh, Mauricio, for participating to our call. It's a pleasure uh, with your long hair and everything. He used to have short hair when we met him first, so everybody was shocked. <laughs> so okay. did you, uh, <laughs> Madalena. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but it wasn't it wasn't such a big deal with me. I mean, in, for me, it was just a bit longer with him. Oh, yes, that's right. You went longer to short. <laughs> yeah. Not the same thing. Um, cool. Uh, any questions on Nelton and Brazil and Mauricio and Rosanna and Ralph? 
no. <laughs> okay, let's move on to knowledge base. Uh, thank you I guess much. my question, or, or like my only question is just let me know how I can help, right? If you ever have something blocking or you need something, uh, just ping me and Luna. I'm happy to help. I'm so thrilled to hear what you guys are doing and that Ralph and Rosanna are able to be there and bring you to this meeting. It's really great. Yeah. Cool. So knowledge base, technical writing program. Who wants to start? Michael, or so, Rosanna? Rosanna, did you want to take that one too? Yeah, well, I mean, I just <laughs> wanted to say that uh, application. So we would have around seven people. So, uh, you know, we need to engage everyone. I know that some people are, in, I mean, like Adam, I just want to point out, has been doing a great job researching everything. Um, and maybe our other participants are a little bit shy. So let's, you know, if, if you if you're writing articles like Michelle, Michael, Roland, you can reach out to them. Uh, and everyone in the community, we can, you know, welcome them. And uh, yeah, it's 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 growing. So that part is going well. Michael, I don't know if you want to add something about the, you know, the actual work that you're doing with Adam and with the rest of the guys. Well, uh, the big thing is um, so far what we've done is is we've done like a research phase, researching, you know, what's changed in Firefox 19, because that's the cycle right now. Um, um, and then figuring out from there what things, what documentation has to get updated. So next, once we decide, we finish deciding that, we'll divvy up the articles and start making, making those changes. Um, and then um, it'll be time to start working on Firefox 20 pretty darn soon. Um, and then Firefox 19 will come out and we'll, we'll have to follow up, right? Because then who, we'll see what, what happens, what people see when uh, it's released. So we're, that's where we are kind of in the process. Um, yeah, moving along though. Sweet. All right, any other questions, comments on the knowledge base and technical writing or anything related to that? I love this program. I love the videos, Michael. It's really cool. Thanks. It's such a great skill to have to be able to do some tech writing. I think um, it's a wonderful thing to help teach people how to do it. It's great. It's a great yeah. skill. Yes, it is. Okay, great. Okay, if no other questions, I'll move forward to the SPORE forum. My turn to speak, because I've been so silent all this time. Um, so we have a new small day this Thursday. Um, it will be a very, very big thing. So everybody who can please participate, we really need your help. Last small day we had 93% of the questions answered, uh, which is great considering our the number of questions just keeps going up. It kind of doubled from the summer months. So people are back to answering, to asking questions. Now we need to be back to answering them. So please, 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 uh, if you can, this Thursday, try to go on the support forum and answer a few questions there. Uh, we'll be here on IRC or on email everywhere uh, in case you encounter any problems on the forums. Please let us know. And of course, if any questions or issues, let me know. Um, and I guess that's it for the meeting today. Um, we have some action items for myself to look into updating the Meet the Team page and include contributors into that. Satav, uh, please organize a dedicated day of testing the mobile design. And also, okay, if you could up, uh, update the date for the IRC meeting, uh, that would be great. And also for Kadir to have a look at the bug and let us know what is going on there. Um, I guess that's conclusions. Any other things? Any other problems? Urgent? Can I play that? May I raise my hand? Just oh, a sorry, reminder think... that Kadir has another job to do in the next week, right, Matt? He will kick his ass a little. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Great. Well, we've been very quick. 
um, we still have 20 minutes to go. So I guess if there aren't any other things to discuss, we can just go and enjoy a cup of coffee. Yes, no? Everybody happy? Yes, okay. All right, thank you so much, everybody, for this great meeting. Um, and see you online, see you on email, see you on the Sumo forum, see you everywhere on IRC. Uh, have a great week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Madalena. Bye, Bye. guys.